Automatic firing was successful. And the modified Redstone, which would serve as the first stage of the satellite-bearing rocket, was loaded aboard a plane. Next stop, Cape Canaveral, Florida. But meanwhile, far across the country at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a sprawling 80-acre research and development complex in Pasadena, California, scientists and engineers were racing toward the same deadline, 90 days to put a satellite into orbit. Their job, furnish the high-speed upper stages to take over after the first stage powered the satellite to the prescribed distance from the Earth. JPL also assembled the satellite and provided instrumentation to transmit the scientific data. When completed, the cylinder contained two transmitters, their battery power supplies, and instrumentation for transmitting data on cosmic rays, meteorite erosion, and temperature measurements. The data would be dispatched continuously by the two transmitters. Assembled, the satellite appears small, but if all went well, Seven and a half minutes from the time the giant missile bearing it would leave the Earth, the cylinder would be hurtling independently through space at a little over 18,000 miles per hour. If all went well. The checkout on the JPL test stand went smoothly. But only the launching pad at Cape Canaveral, Florida would tell the story. The date, Wednesday, 29 January 1958, eight days before the deadline set down by General Medaris. On the morning of the 29th, the weather was not good. The prediction was for thunderstorms and unsatisfactory jet stream conditions aloft. A 24-hour postponement was decided upon. The hours passed with the rocket crews working swiftly, intensively. But well, there is a whole set of operations to be completed at least 24 hours before the countdown starts. It was not until Friday, January 31st, that the weather cleared sufficiently for General Medaris to order launch at 10.30 p.m. Men worked on the lines, pipes, and servicing units on the pad. Others clambered about the various gantry levels. As is so often said in the Army, but rarely with more accuracy, this was it. Before the countdown was to start, the satellite and last stage rocket, shrouded to prevent even the slightest abrasion, was at the launching pad. Dwarfed by the giant missile and the protective scaffold of the gantry, the payload, weighing 30.8 pounds, 80 inches in length, is raised toward the top, where it will be carefully fitted into place, like a glittering jewel in a luminous setting. At X minus two hours, Hydeen, an exotic liquid oxygen oxidizer for the fuel, begins to flow into the tanks. Frosty white vapor hisses from the vents. click past relentlessly. The beams of powerful searchlights light up the missile, truly the star of one of the greatest suspense dramas of our time. The drama approaches the final act, the Army's first attempt to fire a man-made moon into orbit. Time, late evening, Friday, January 31st, 1958, in a blockhouse at Canaveral. The countdown to Explorer 1. Roger. Okay, we'll start now. Finish fuel loading. Take a white reading. Okay, check the utility room fuel vapors and notify the blockhouse when we're clear to start generators. Control voltage on. Gyros on. Gyro erection on.
Check that lock loading has been completed. Roger. Uh, connect assembly to igniter. Okay, tie down the lead. Roger, and install your protective pass. Okay. Weight reading after last scaffold is removed. AFMTC telemeter calibration tape on. Start vibration and RPM recorders. Check all operating lights and meters for proper operation. Fire panel check. Fire panel okay. Control panel check. Control panel okay. Roger. Magic panel check. Magic panel okay. Roger. Cluster control panel check. Roger. Gyro erection off. Gyro erection off. Rudder drive on. Rudder drive on. Power transfer test on. Observe and record all voltages. Power transfer test on. Power transfer off. Power transfer off. Mr. Clear for launch. Clear to launch. Bob? Yeah. O21, deflection of jet main number two. We've either got a relay kicking out or the, there's something uh, dropping down on the jet main instantaneously here. Hold. Telemeter indicates the jet main two is deflected. What do you want to do? Forget it. Okay. Resume count. Okay. Shall we go ahead?